Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking out some time out of your day to check out this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the sixth time I'm filming this. Christian is over here, if you guys can hear him kind of making noise. His first two teeth are coming in on the bottom. One of them already came through, so he's he always like puts his finger in his mouth now and he's like, what is this? And he's like making little sounds. Um, but today I'm gonna do a video all about how I make money from home. These are legit real ways that you guys can make some extra money from home. A ton of you guys have requested that I do this video, so I thought I would finally get this video up. And another main reason that I wanted to do this is because I wanna have is because I really wanna have a discussion with you guys in the comments. This is not just like, oh, leave a comment on my video, but I really want everyone to each of you to let each other know how you make money at home because I'm always looking for new ways to make money um, and I'm sure that a bunch of you guys know other ways that I'm not going to tell you so definitely let me know if you make money at home how you do it because I do have a part-time job and I have YouTube of course but I love to make extra money so um, I have a feeling this video is going to be pretty long and Christian may bounce in and out of the video with me so let's get right into it so like I said, I do have a job. I work for Verizon Wireless. Um, I have that part-time just three days a week, but I do like to make other money from home. So the first way that I'm gonna share with you guys is if you have a YouTube channel and you're not getting paid for your videos. If you're already partnered with a network or you already monetize your videos, you can skip ahead to about two minutes um, ahead in the video, but if you make videos and you're not getting paid for them, stay tuned for this part because I'm gonna let you know how I get paid for my videos. So the first thing is that you want to monetize your videos. It's in the settings whenever you upload a video, it will say settings or advanced settings and you want to click monetize. Basically that just means that you're giving Google permission to run a little ad before your video, just like a five second ad, you can skip it if you want, um, but basically that's how you're going to go ahead and get paid. Um, you can do that with Google and get paid into a Google AdSense account which just goes to your bank or you can be partnered. I know a lot of the big beauty girls are partnered with Style Hall. Uh, personally I have full screen and I love it. So many people that I also know have full screen and basically we get paid um, not on subscribers or anything like that. We get paid per video view. So you get paid per thousand views. Um, so you link your PayPal account and you, I get paid right into my bank account at the end of every month which is amazing. So if you've been making videos for a long time or even if you just started and you only have a few videos up, make sure that you're definitely getting paid for those videos because I know personally it takes me hours to set up filming, to edit everything and it takes a lot of work to get video views so yeah I mean you definitely want to get paid for that if you guys are looking for a good network um, I do have full screen I absolutely love it I would honestly really recommend them I will have a link in the bottom bar so you can apply for full screen if you would like to if you have a channel and you're not partnered with anyone basically the reason I like them is because on their website they give you so many there's like um, a portion of their website where they give you songs because I know it's really hard to find copyright free music for your YouTube videos. They give you like thousands of songs through a company called Audio Micro which is totally free for us just for being a partner. Christian! <laughs> I'm afraid he's gonna like move the tripod. Um, they have other boards and forums that you can connect with other girls and you can like help get your subscriber count up and meet more friends. So there's forums where you can chat with other girls, invite them over to your channel. I know when I was first starting out that helped me a lot to gain a lot of friends and a lot of subscribers. Um, there's also, like, there's something called Boutique on full screen, which is kind of like their beauty vlogger section. They email you every week about other ways that you can earn money, and they're just always there for you if you have questions. I mean, personally for me, it's really helped me um, to have a partner program. So. If you are not partnered, like I said, I will have a link in the bottom bar. Uh, you can click there and you'll fill out an application to apply and then they'll take a look at your channel and then they'll email you back um, letting you know if they want you to be like a part of their program. But I have definitely found that it's been really beneficial to me on meeting people and learning how to kind of navigate my YouTube channel when I was starting out or even if you've been making videos for a really long time. So that's definitely a really good way. That's kind of how I make money on my YouTube videos. The next way that I've been making actually a lot of money from home is by using an exchange group and basically all you need to do for this is have Facebook I actually created an exchange group in my city and I'm like the owner or the administrator of it and I have like 5,000 members in there now so, oh you want to say hi as a video okay say hi everyone my hair is messy because I just woke up say hi okay so with an exchange group basically 
So you put the city in where you live, and it's like, say you live in Fallbrook, it's literally called Fallbrook Exchange. You make that group on Facebook, or you search for a group, and you'll find a ton of people who live in that city who are selling things, who are making crafts and selling them. Basically, I just went through my closet and all my old stuff that I didn't need anymore, I took pictures of, and then I posted it on that site. So I had like old curtains, jeans, books, anything like that, and I would post it on that site and I will say for sale, how much it is, and it's really cool because people who want your stuff, they'll drive to your house and you don't have to like meet them if it's like creepy. You can leave something on your porch and they will put money under your mat and they will take it. So someone will comment like, I'm interested in those pants, where do you live, when can I come get them? And I'll just personal message them and they'll pick stuff up from my house. And guys, honestly, I've literally made like probably five or six hundred dollars off that. Um, there's an exchange group in my city and I post on there all the time things that I don't need that are just laying around the house. Like old like candles I've never used, like jeans, clothes, books, like old purses if you guys have like coach purses or any designer purses, like anything. And it's really cool because they're in your city. You don't have to waste your gas. Someone comes to your house and they pick up the item. So I have found that to be an awesome thing for me when I'm not at work on my days off. I will just like take pictures of stuff that I don't need, upload them right onto Facebook and it's so simple because they're in your city. So it's kind of like a garage sale but like online or on Facebook. And I'm sure you can also do this type of stuff on Craigslist also. Another thing that I do probably about once a month or once every two months with my family is have a garage sale. I know this sounds super simple, but maybe it's just something you know you could do but you haven't thought of in a while. Even if there's stuff that you don't want that you think like, oh, no one's ever going to want that, someone will want it probably. Like I said, old clothes, anything. Um, we always put flyers up. Christian! Sorry if you guys can hear that. Um, we always put flyers up on our street and let people know we're having a garage sale. And as long as we start it early, like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. on a Saturday, we get so many people who come by and just like want our old stuff. So I can make like $100 or $200 on that in just one day. So, and if you think that you don't have enough stuff for a garage sale, ask your neighbors if they want to have like a street garage sale. People love those. People love driving to one street and just getting all their shopping done. I mean, imagine if you had four or five houses having a garage sale at the same time. It's going to benefit everyone. So I think that's a really simple way. You guys might have already obviously known that one, but just to kind of refresh in your mind, it is a really good way to just make really quick money. Another way that I make money is through Ebates. Um, again, if you guys already know about this one, you can skip ahead, but basically if you do any type of online shopping through any store, like anything, like Pennies, Macy's, Bath & Body Works, anything, all you have to do is go to Ebates and you purchase the item through there. So you go to Ebates.com and then they have all the stores listed and you'll click on Macy's or wherever you'd like to shop and that Ebates directs you to the Macy's website and as long as you go through Ebates, they give you cash back. You're seriously getting paid to shop. It's so, so, so easy. So basically, you'll click on Macy's or click on whatever store. Ebates will direct you there. And because you went through their site, they'll give you cash back. It, it totally varies. There's like 2% through 10%. Like, And every few months, you get paid into your PayPal account, which just goes right into your bank account. So you literally get paid to shop through their website because they're getting the advertisement so they don't mind like paying you back because they run ads on their site and everything. So literally, if you do any type of online shopping, you have to go to Ebates first. Like, just go Ebates.com. It's so easy. And you'll get paid a lot, especially if you, well, it's not a ton, but it definitely adds up, especially if you are already an online shopper like myself. Just go to Ebates every time, and then you'll check your account in like two months, and I'll have like $50. And I'm like, they literally give you money just to shop online. It's so, so easy. Please check the description box. Each person has their own link for Ebates. I would really appreciate if you guys use my referral link um, just because I'm like telling you about it. But even if you don't online shop that much, definitely still use the link and sign up because when you are ready to buy something online, they'll pay you cash back like just for shopping online. It's amazing. I absolutely love that one. Another way to make money from home is from surveys, and I'm sure you guys have heard this all over YouTube and the internet. There's definitely some scam sites out there. There's a lot of scam sites, actually. There's only one site that I'm going to recommend you guys that I have personally used that I know is okay, and it's called Opinion Outpost. Again, I will leave the link in the bottom bar so you guys can check it out. It does take some time. Basically, you just fill out surveys on random stuff, but they do pay you for your surveys. It doesn't link you to any spam website or anything. Christian! 
is just some legit surveys that you have to do. And I've heard other girls talk about this one, so you may already know of it, but um, there's a ton of like scam survey sites, so don't just click on any one because they may have like a virus for your computer or something, but this is one that I've checked out like four or five times and it's totally fine. So if you are at home and you have no other way to make money and you could just sit at your computer and do this, it does take some time, but they do pay you. So definitely check that one out as well. Another way that I've personally made money from home is if you speak another language. So if you don't, I'm really sorry, skip to the next one. I know I keep saying like skip to the next one, but if you uh, speak another language, any type of language, I do speak full Spanish as you guys know, um, is what I've found. I've actually done this twice and I've made probably like 150 bucks is to go on Craigslist and type in that you will translate for people. You can do this from your home. Two people have actually emailed me a document that they needed from work and I've translated it for them. And you could charge like, you could charge really well for translating because that's something that there's a lack of. My dad's actually a lawyer and he's always telling me that in the court system they need translators because there's a lack of them. So they pay a lot for that. So if people need a document translated for their workplace or something, they're willing to pay a lot. It can be like 30 or $40 just for one hour. So they'll email you the document or something um, and you don't have to live in the same city as them which is awesome because they just email it to you and you can clock, uh, just let them know how much time it took you, translate the whole document and then send it back. Um, I've done that twice for people. It was one doctor and then with one other company. I don't want to like put their name out there. Um, but I got paid each time. One time I got paid $42 and the other time I got paid I want to say like around 35 it was a while ago but 35 dollars an hour for sitting at home because you speak another language i mean come on that's absolutely great then another thing that you can do from home is making diy stuff or crafts and selling them and if you think like uh, i'm not creative i don't have something to make i'm not a good artist blah 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 i will link some videos in the bottom bar for you i found a video here on youtube of how you can make your own candles for literally five dollars so if you have five dollars to go out and buy the items you can sell those candles for like fifteen bucks so that's ten bucks for you it's probably going to take you like twenty minutes to make one so $10 for doing something in 20 minutes is great. Um, it's just a little way that you guys can make different colored candles. And I will leave the link below. So if you go to Joann's or Target and you buy some items and you make those, you can post it on Facebook, you could post it on Craigslist, um, you could post it on YouTube, you could post it wherever and just tell people that you want to sell the candles. Um, or sell anything. Just look up on YouTube in the search bar uh, cheap or affordable DIY projects, make some stuff and then sell it. I mean DIY and like people who make crafts now are making so much money from home or like I said you can post your stuff on Facebook or just anything like Facebook and Craigslist are a really really good way to get out there and sell stuff that you've made. Another thing that I want to mention to you guys is focus groups. Now being 100% honest I have never done this but I have heard two girls talk about it here on YouTube well, I've heard a lot more than that, but two girls who I actually know who have done this, so I want to throw it out there for you guys. Are you okay? Um, basically, what you do is you'll go on Craigslist, and um, you'll click on the other section, and then you'll click your city or your town, and they'll be you'll see a lot of postings for focus groups. Basically, it's like a company who is just starting, or they just came out with a new product or something, and all you have to do is, sometimes you can do it from home, or you can go meet them up at a location. All you have to do is like test out their product. They just want to get your advice on something new, or get like a public opinion, and they'll pay you on the spot. With focus groups, they do pay you cash, so you'll go on Craigslist, click on the city that you live in, um, click on other, and there's just a lot of postings. You can like read about a company before you do it. Like they may be coming out with... I don't know, any type of new product and they want you to meet up in your city. It's not like a creepy situation or anything because you meet up with like 10 or 15 people and you'll try out the product or you'll write a little review of what you think of the product. Um, from my understanding this only takes like less than an hour and they'll pay you cash on the spot. Um, a few of the ones I have seen have paid like around $30. Um, or if they have a website and you can do it from home, you go through the website, review the products and then you'll write a little review for them and they will pay you right into your bank account. So if you just need money quick on the spot and you don't mind kind of doing that, you know, like checking out someone else's company and doing a little review, um, I have heard some good things and just uh, about focus groups that are honest ways to make money. Of course, be careful where you go. Don't go to like a sketch place by yourself. Basic knowledge, but um, I know that's a way to make money quick on the spot. 
And then just a few more basic things that I want to throw out there. I know these are really simple and you might already know them, but just to refresh your memory, if you're a teenager or you're younger or even in your 20s and you don't have a job or you can't go out and necessarily get a 9 to 5 job or a part time or whatever, there's a few things you can do from home, kind of like with your neighbors. My brother used to put up like flyers or ask the neighbors if they wanted their lawn mowed. Something super, super cheap, but the neighbors were just too lazy to do it. They wanted to pay someone. He made like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever, um, people will definitely pay for that. If you're cool with your neighbors or if you're not, it might be a good way to kind of get to know your neighbors. Um, and then for myself personally, I've been doing a few girls makeup on my street for like homecoming dances or any type of like high school dance. Um, I have not gone to cosmetology school yet, so I don't charge them that much, but I can make $30 just doing someone's makeup or doing like an updo on their hair if you're good at that. And you can do that at your house. You can walk up to their house if they live on your street. It's just something really simple for people who live near you. Also, I know where I live. Ugh. Christian! He's like knocking over the tripod. Um, also, I know where I live. People pay for you to walk their dogs. So again, ooh, don't do the tripod, okay? What do you think you're eating? Don't eat that. Oh my gosh, what's on your face? We'll be right back. A lot of people where I live, like I was saying, have a lot of dogs. Each house may have like two or three dogs, so people will pay you to walk their dogs. They want to make sure their dog gets exercise, but they may be lazy or whatever. So you can charge people 20 bucks, 25 bucks, just to do something really simple and seriously, just walk their dogs. Um, also, some people may need like house cleaners if they live on your street or like I said, mowing their lawn, doing yard work. You can put up flyers for babysitting. These are just all things that you can do from home or super close to your house so you don't have to actually get up and like go to a job. Um, just really simple things. So um, yeah, definitely check out those few things as well. Also, one last thing I wanted to throw in is that you can wash your neighbor's cars or anyone's car. I know that sounds really simple, but if you make like little flyers or cards and kind of put it in their mailbox, I know that I'm always really busy and I have my son. I would definitely pay someone to wash my car. That's just something so simple. So you can also do that. Christian, okay, he's getting fussy. Oh, say hi to everyone. Okay. All right, guys. So that is pretty much going to be it for my video on how to wake, how to wake, <laughs> how to make money from home. Please leave me a comment if you have any other ways that you do it, because I would love to combine a bunch of ways and just make more money. Um, also, too, I if I left, I feel like I'm leaving a few things out. Check the description box in case I forgot any any other ways that I want to share with you guys. Also, my Ebates link will be down there. Definitely click it and sign up for Ebates, even if you don't shop online yet or you don't shop too much, because when you do, you're going to make money. And if you make YouTube videos and you really want to partner up, um, definitely check my link for applying for full screen because I honestly would highly recommend them. You guys can Google them and check out the reviews before you do if you want, but um, I will have the link below for that. I really, really appreciate you guys taking out this time to watch my video and my channel. I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, so I just want to say hey. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely thumbs up this video. Oh, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Okay, Christian's trying to stand up on things and he, I don't want him to fall down. <laughs> so, okay, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Mwah. Bye.